Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 Forest River R-Pod 193 bunkhouse trailer. This is an early 2021 version. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside and the outside of the RV. Then we're going to close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. And at the end of the video, I'm actually going to show you a few sneak peek pictures of the 202 new model with the mid-year model changes. So you'll see the new graphics and the new wood and floor colors and stuff that are getting ready to come out. All right, guys, we are now up inside this new R-Pod 193. Again, this is the early 2021 version. And looking straight ahead toward the front of the RV, you have a sofa folds down. You could technically use it as a bed if you wanted to, but the main bed, the queen bed, does actually fold down over top of that. So you've got a Murphy bed set up here. See that pop up in the pictures there. Now down below that is some storage, so you can store quite a bit of stuff down there. You have the 28 inch LED TV over there. That is a 12 volt TV, so it will work off of your battery system. On each side of the sofa is an electric outlet and USB charger ports along with a little stand so you could set a drink or something on there as well. Now down beside your entry door area here, you've got your little pet friendly bowls, fire extinguisher. On the side of the cabinet down there is your monitor panel that you see pop up here, which does have your water pump switch, water heater on gas switch, and your battery meter, gray, black, and fresh tank meters as well. Now up on the side of the cabinet up there is going to be your little AM FM stereo with an HDMI input and also some controls. So you have a light switch, awning light switch, slide switch, awning in and out switch. So you got a few different switches right there. Over top of the kitchen sink area there, you've got a pretty good amount of storage space. Hood range with light and fan. You have a large single bowl sink. Two burner gas stove top and the glass lid kind of acts as a backsplash when you're using it. But when you don't need it, it also kind of just gives you a little more counter space. You have a little bit of storage below the sink area there. The convection microwave as well. And just below that is your propane leak detector. Six point three cubic foot Dometic refrigerator. It's gas and electric both. Below that is the dustpan vac. So you can Basically take a small broom and sweep everything right into the uh, dustpan vac there. And again, no carpet in here. It's all vinyl flooring, so you don't have to worry about using an actual vacuum. There's also the electric box again with your breakers and fuses there. Now to the right of the refrigerator is kind of a small pantry area there. And just below that is the furnace. Now here is your slide system. We'll show you how that closes up here at the end of the video. But this slide has a little bit of storage there on the left, which you could use as a hanging closet or more pantry space. And you have a couple drawers as well there. Some overhead cabinets. And then this sofa also folds down and makes into a small bed. I have the table in storage mode. That's the way they suggest you travel with it. It has a little strap there to strap it in place. But that is a freestanding table. You can see kind of sitting around here. Popped it up in a picture here. And then we're going to also put it in front of the other sofa to give you an idea what that looks like. But that table can go outside with you as well on a nice day. 
Now back here in the back, you have two bunk beds. The upper bunk has your window on the side, which does open, and then you also have a USB charger port on the left side as well. Same exact thing on the lower bunk, window down there does open, and also a USB charger port on the left. Built-in ladder as well, and they have nightshades on all the windows. The only window that doesn't technically have a nightshade is the one behind the sink, which is a metal mini block. Up top, you have your 13.5 BTU air conditioning system, which does have a digital wall thermostat, and that same thermostat also controls your gas furnace. Now back here in the bathroom area, we're gonna pop up a few pictures of this for you as well. Give you a little better idea what it looks like, but you have a foot flush toilet. You have quite a bit of storage back there for linens. Turbo exhaust fan, skylight above the shower, and overall a decent size little shower, but they also built in a little sink. So instead of trying to build a full wall sink with medicine cabinet and everything, they did put a small sink in there in case you need to use it. But just a few feet away is obviously your kitchen sink as well. And to the left of that door is also your light switch and there's an electric outlet down there as well. But overall, a pretty cool little RV for the family. So you could sleep in here roughly five, possibly six people if needed, but five pretty comfortably. And we're going to head outside, show you around the outside, then we're going to come back in, close it up, and then we're going to show you the sneak peek of the new exterior and interior colors you'll see pop up in some pictures. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new R-Pod 193. Uh, again, this is the early 2021 version. You'll see the new mid-year model change colors and graphics at the end of the video. Uh, gray fiberglass exterior on the early version. They've been using this coloring for, I want to say, probably about two and a half years now. The window in the front, they've been doing for about a year. You have a lower black diamond plate across the front. The little red box down there is a battery disconnect. You have a single 20 pound propane tank, which is basically a gas grill tank with the hard bottle cover. The unit comes with one deep cycle interstate battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. It comes from zero from the RV factory. So if you don't purchase from RV Nation, make sure your dealer does give you one. Power tongue jack on the front has a manual override and a built-in LED light. Two inch hitch ball, seven way Bargman plug for your lighting and brakes. Do have to have a brake controller in your vehicle to control the brakes of the RV. Stip, uh, standard safety chains and breakaway cable. On around to the side of the RV here, you have a power awning with adjustable arms for tilting, tilting and water runoff. You have a LED light strip also built into the awning up there as well. Outside spray port here. They do have a pass-through storage, pretty good sized pass-through storage compartment there. You can also see there are scissor jacks on all four corners to stabilize the RV with. You have a traditional hover RV style step, double entry step with the aluminum tops. The entry door currently has a window in it and is gray matching the exterior of the RV but again you'll see a different look when we get to the pictures at the end. Down below here is the pet friendly little hook. You can also see the enclosed underbelly down below along with the torsion flex axle suspension going across there. Really nice independent axle system. Now here on the side you're also seeing the uh, suburban little grill here griddle 
And this is going to be what the newest versions of our pods are all going to be heading to instead of the pull out slide tray. They're all going to go to this version is what we're currently being told. Um, up top there, you do have a couple outdoor speakers. You also have a standard porch light. So you have your LED awning light and a porch light. A lot of RVs just have one or the other. Uh, deep tent safety glass windows. Large folding entry handle again. The black tank flush is just below the furnace hookup right there. And the black tank flush is so you can clean out the toilet tank system. The black panel there is access for venting and maintenance purposes of the refrigerator. Aluminum wheels. The fender skirting is actually metal instead of plastic. Standard 4 inch square tube bumper on the rear of the RV. Spare tire is mounted to that, but you could also do like a small bike rack or something as well. We have a lot of customers that uh, just kind of scoot the uh, tire over and make room for a bike rack. Ladder on the back of the 193 is standard, so you can get up on the roof and kind of inspect it and check it out. If you do that, just make sure there's nothing sh uh, sharp stuck in your shoes so you don't damage your roof. LED tail lights and running lights. Now on the back corner here, you have your detachable 30 amp power cord, cable inlets and satellite inlet there. Down below is your gray and black tank dump. It all comes out of one spot on this model. And also the hot and cold low point water drains are there. Storage compartment here. Six gallon gas and electric water heater. And the electric button is right there in the lower left hand corner. The gas button inside that you've seen. Now on the slide out system, this is the Schwintec slide system or in wall slide. This is my Lippert components. They have a lot of really nice how to videos on their website, lci1.com. A lot of videos that just kind of tell you about maintenance and how to troubleshoot things if something were to ever go wrong. Now down here in the lower corner is your city water and fresh water tank fills. Just below that is the fresh water tank drain as well. The baggage doors are also held up by magnetic clips instead of plastic holders, so a little bit nicer mount system there. Um, now you're going to also see pop up here your gross vehicle weight sticker, your dry weight sticker, your tire size sticker, and your carrying capacity sticker. Now we're going to go back inside, show you how the slide closes. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are now back here in the camper again. We're going to close up this slide. Now, this slide works right here off of this button. So basically, all you have to do when you're ready to use the RV or done using the RV is basically just push the button and bring this in. Again, electric slide system. Now, a nice thing here is if you're on the road and you just want to stop at a rest area or something to come in and get into the camper, you can do so. Still use your bathroom, still use your refrigerator. You know, the kids technically could still go in there, lay down, take a nap or something if you wanted to. Now, the only negative I would say to this setup on this part, when the slide is closed, the little sofa here will not go down into bed mode fully so you couldn't really use the queen bed very functionally but if needed somebody could lay on the couch there and then flip down the other couch as a little resting area and then when you go to put it back out same thing just push the button And it goes right on back out. Now I'm going to pop up a couple of small pictures here for you. 
you can see now the new exterior. This is going to be the 2021 and a half version. So you have new exterior. It's mostly a white fiberglass with a gray bottom. New graphic. These pictures are of the 202, which is the first double axle version. Now onto the inside pictures, you're going to also see new flooring and also new cabinet colors. So everything's changing up on the look for the 2021 and a half version. And these are all starting to roll off here real close to July. Um, so just wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek there of the new look because this current look we're showing you in this video is going away now. If you like the current look, run out and get you one before they're gone. If you like the new look, again, contact us. They are all rolling off the assembly lines here real soon. Going to be a lot of new cool stuff. Check out Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. The largest RPOD Nobo dealer, along with a few other brands that they sell in the country as well. Thanks guys for checking out my videos. Again, check out the Couches RV Nation team. Thank you.